A major development for Florida's Supreme Court. Just hours ago, Governor Rick Scott announced he has chosen C. Ellen Lawson as the new justice. He is Governor Scott's first appointment to the court. Our Capitol reporter Mike Vazelin is joining us now live on Lawson's background and, and Mike, what this is going to mean for cases in the state of Florida. Well, you know, what What happened this morning, shortly after he was introduced, the soon-to-be justice uh, quickly identified himself with the conservative wing of the Florida Supreme Court, and that's exactly what Governor Rick Scott wanted. I don't get to pass laws. Uh, I, I get to either sign or not sign bills, but I don't get to pass them. Uh, the judges should not, be, should not be passing laws on their own. They should not be creating law. Uh, they get to interpret the law, enforce the law, but they should not be creating new law. And there are a lot of precedents from the Florida Supreme Court and the U.S. Supreme Court that detail what judicial restraint means and, and is not supposed to mean. And, and I think um, those who are critical of opinions just think that, that uh, judges or courts have, have moved away from um, what's clearly laid out and, and precedent that's not really liberal or conservative. It just says this is what courts are supposed to do. Now, this is a homecoming of sorts for Lawson. He graduated from the FSU Law School here in Tallahassee in 1987. His appointment will shift the court to the right. He will add a third vote uh, to the conservative side of the court that has seen uh, losses of 5-2 majority in a number of cases. Reporting live in Tallahassee, Mike Bethelinda, Channel 4, The Local Station. My Governor Rick Scott said this morning, and I quote, I'm excited to appoint my first Supreme Court justice and maybe a few more. Why do you suspect he made this statement? What is the governor alluding to? Well, first of all, uh, Justice Charles Kennedy, uh, who has served as Chief Justice before, is on Donald Trump's short list, or so some say, to be going to the United States Supreme Court to fill a vacancy there. But even if that doesn't happen, three judges have, are, are being forced to retire on the same day Rick Scott leaves office. When I asked him about it this morning, he said he was going to make those three appointments that morning. The problem there, though, is that uh, the new incoming governor may have something to say about that as well. It could set up some controversy. All right, thank you, Mike Vazelina, reporting to us live from Tallahassee. Thank you.